Hello. This is Miss Burks from the Blanchard Elementary School Library. It's good to see all of you in a manner of speaking. And I want to share with you a few things about our library. So welcome. As I said, my name is Miss Burks, Emily Burks, and I am the school librarian here at Blanchard Elementary. This is my 13th year here and my 20th year in Cattle Parish Schools. I was a classroom teacher for six years and now I'm a school librarian. I teach your kids in the library once a week and I have one group of kids on Tuesdays in the computer lab. Here's all of my contact information if you need to reach me for any reason. Sorry about that. Um, my school email, library telephone, library website, school website, and I do have a Canvas site also. So let's talk about the Canvas site. On my Canvas site, which I'll show you in a few minutes, I have four book tabs general info, book corner, destiny catalog, and weekly lessons. And I just wanna remind you, any of the assignments that I put on there, they're actually like activities that you can complete with your kids for fun. Don't stress out about them. They're enrichment activities to go with books we're reading in the library or books your kids can enjoy. And I do not give grades. I just am a skill builder and a reading enthusiast. So read with your kids, read to them, let them read to you, just read, because that's gonna help them everywhere. Okay, you can come out now. Yes, I love puppets. <laughs> we use puppets a lot in the library. Um, this is Roland, he's one of our library puppets. So Roland, did you want to say something? Hi. Thank you, Roland. He was so eager to come. So Roland, you want to tell them a little bit about the kinds of puppets we have in the library? Oh, we have hand puppets, finger puppets, marionettes, which are puppets on strings. Thank you, Roland. And I like to use puppets as a positive behavior reinforcement. And I like to incorporate them any way I can, just because I think it enriches the activity or the lesson or the book and the kids really enjoy it. And I want them to love library. So thank you, Roland. These are my expectations in the library. They're the same as the whole, whole school. We use the same rules everywhere. So this is those. Oh, and I reward kids for following the rules with the Eagle Bucks or puppet activities or library treats. I don't pass out candy um, or anything edible, just little tokens, special bookmarks, you know, that go the, with the holiday or whatever like that. And I do AR rewards at the end of the year for AR points. For our library units, we have units for each grade level. I combine pre-K and kinder and currently in those grades, we're talking about alphabet books and we're gonna begin talking about number books next week. And then for first grade, we're working on our library dragon unit that we've been working on for a few weeks, which is teaching the kids how to take care of their library books. And we use the story, the library dragon, and then we do activities with that. And then for second grade, we've been talking about ebook access and how you can access those from a device through our school library website, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. And then for third grade, we're working on a really important program called Louisiana Young Readers Choice Award, where the kids are actually getting to read and participate in 15 books, chapter books and picture books. And then they're gonna actually get to vote in February for their favorite book. So they're really excited about that. Oh, and I get to request real voting machines that they vote on. For book return, just remember they can return their book anytime. 
they get one opportunity to come to the library per week so they can actually put their book on the cart. But if they forget it, I'm happy to make an exchange so their teacher can put their book in my box or send them to the library and I'll be happy to get them another book. Not a big deal. But we do have to remember if they lose or damage a book, we do have to replace it. So they'll have to pay for it. But usually if I tell kids, just look everywhere, look under your bed, look in your sister's room, they can usually find it. All right, now I wanna share with you my Canvas site. So let's go there real quick. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick a grade. So this is my Canvas site. It looks like this when you first get on Miss Burke's library. And then down at the bottom, I have four little book tabs you can choose. The general info tab, it just tells you some more information again about me and then it has the Zoom session time down at the bottom. Then the next tab, this one's under construction, the book corner. Then we have Destiny Library Catalog. And it takes you to our library website by just clicking on Blanchard Library. And here's some eBooks right here that you can access from home. You just click on one of the links. We do have a lot of AR tests for these books. So you just click on the book, open it up, and you can play it and listen to it. Also, feel free to go to the catalog. You can search our catalog and see what books we have in the library and what their AR level is. It's kind of a handy thing right here just to see what level it is. Even if you have books at home that you wanna know if we have an AR test for, you can search on here and see. And then there's other activities you can access through our library site. Now, let's go back. Let's look at our weekly lessons on Canvas. I upload the lesson per week. For example, in second grade, I said we were talking about eBooks. So this is just a little Google Slides presentation to keep you up to date and tell you the steps for how to access and enjoy. And then I have a little zoom button at the bottom. Okay, I think that pretty much covers everything for library. You can take AR tests from home I have that link also on our Blanchard Library page. You just, or you can go through it on ClassLink. You just click on Renaissance Learning and log in from home or school and take AR tests. And if you have any troubles with that, just send me a message. I'll be happy to help you. So let's let Roland say one more thing and then we will close. Okay, Roland, what did you want to say before we go? Well, it was nice to meet you. Thank you, Roland. Bye, guys. Good to see you. Hope everybody has a wonderful night.